All right, what's up guys? This is just gonna be a quick video, a bit of a public service announcement. The, in my last video where I optimized this computer, I recommended to get something called Windows Toolbox. If you don't know what it looks like, I've still actually got it on this computer. It looks like this, it's a PowerShell script, and then when you open it up, it looks like this. This is malware, guys. You need to uninstall this right now. I'm really sorry to everyone that I recommended this to. I really didn't know what it does and uh, yeah it's come to light in the past kind of week or so that this is malware and we need to get rid of this. So if you guys did install this or run this in any way I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it. So what you need to do is you need to go to the link in the description, be the first link in the description, it's called Windows Toolbox Malware Removal and then yeah basically we just need to download this, just download the .zip as normal. Make sure you extract it with WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever you guys use. And yeah, just extract that to your desktop. And then what we need to do is we need to right click on WTM-Removal. And we need to run this as administrator. So just click on that and then press yes. So yeah, this is the first time the script has been run. And it's just basically looking through all of the files that this malware has affected. So as you can see in red here, it says found all of the stuff that we need to get rid of. And then you guys just need to type the letter Y like that. There we go. And uh, it'll remove all the malicious activity that Windows Toolbox has done. Someone recommended me to use this tool and it did genuinely work on this computer. The performance was much improved. But yeah, it just sucks that this is malware. And I hope I didn't affect loads of people out there. I genuinely feel really bad. But yeah, that is done now. So now what we need to do is just reboot the system. All right, so we're back here and we're gonna run this again just to see if we get any more things. So once again, just right click, run as administrator, press yes. And there we go. I think that's pretty much everything. We've got green text saying, can't find anything. And yeah, I think we're good. Now that we're done, it's also recommended that we run the Windows Troubleshooter. So go to your settings here then scroll all the way down till you find update and security, go to troubleshoot, go to additional troubleshooters, and then you should see Windows Update here, and then just go ahead and run the troubleshooter. So this should detect any kind of problems we have here. Okay, now it should say you have to restart. So just press next. It will start to resolve the problems. And yeah, that's pretty much what we need to do. Troubleshooting is completed, just close the troubleshooter and then once again we'll probably restart. So yeah, that's just basically everything. Just wait for it to do the Windows updates and then you should be back to normal. Once again, I'm really sorry for this. Hopefully I didn't affect too many people out there. Normal videos will be back now. I'll probably only have this video up for about a week. We'll see. And I'll probably do a giveaway as well to make this up to you guys. So yeah, look out for that and uh, I'll see you next time.